Good morning, guys. I'm going to take you along my week at UCLA. I've been a student here for a semester and a half now, and there are so many parts about the school that I absolutely love. And I feel like there's a lot of information I could have had that would have helped me make a college decision when I was in high school and deciding where I wanted to go. I can say with 1000% certainty that I made the right decision. I hope you find this video useful and even if you're not in the college application process, I think it's just fun to see other people's experiences so I hope you can still learn something from this video or just find it entertaining because I love to watch vlogs that are just realistic and like take me along someone's day in the life. If I can inspire other people or help them in whatever journey they're on, my, my job is done. My work is done. So. Let's get along with the week and let me share with you why I chose UCLA. Workout of the day is done and now I'm going to take a shower and start studying. So in high school, I took a lot of AP and college classes and UCLA being a public school accepts most of these credits, which is super nice because I'm basically finished with my general education requirements. But I know a lot of people who come in with AP and college credits graduate early, which is obviously super nice because you're saving money and you're saving time. But I know that this is not the case for every university, especially the private schools rarely count AP and college classes. If you look at other schools like, I don't know, USC, um, a lot of my friends who went there had to start from scratch. So none of their AP or college classes were accepted for credit, which really sucks. Like I know you can petition to have the school try and accept classes that you've already taken, but USC and other private schools are really strict on that. UCLA, and UC schools in general are pretty lenient, so they'll take those. Everyone here just really wants you to do well and succeed and help you achieve your goals. And it can be competitive sometimes, but not in a negative way. I think it's like good, healthy competition to where every student here wants to be the best version of themselves, but also there's still that balance with like social life. I feel like I already have so many chances to do so many things like internships, classes, clubs, Greek life, which I'm in a sorority, Alpha Phi, which is another thing here at UCLA that's that I absolutely love is Greek life because I know not every school has that. So I'm here to tell you that the title of number one best U.S. public school does stand. And another thing about UCLA is that not only are they the number one public school in the U.S., but they also have the number one dining halls. So I certainly can't complain. I think we have eight or nine of them. They also are all mostly like healthy foods. That was definitely a concern when I was going to college is like what the meal situation was gonna be like. And the way that dining halls work is that you like use your brewing card to swipe in. Los Angeles. UCLA is in the heart of California. Specifically, it's in Westwood, which is a cute little like college town with restaurants and stores for shopping and a lot of cute cafes. And I've lived in California my whole life, but for someone who hasn't, like that should be reason enough to come to UCLA because California is just the best day ever. It's like always sunny. I'm getting ready for class this morning, but on days that I don't go to class, I'm always out and about doing something. I love going on hikes here. There are a lot of cool muse museums if that's what you're into. The beach, of course, during the summer I go all the time. Even during the winter I go occasionally. But yeah, unfortunately, or fortunately I guess, it is Wednesday so I am going to class. Um, but later tonight I will be going out. Um, in the Westwood area. Because UCLA has such a big student body, we're really big on sports, school spirit, Greek life, and there are just like so many clubs and organizations on campus. Everyone I feel like finds their community and their place where they feel they belong. I have gone to a few football and basketball games 
and honestly they're so fun so yeah if you're a sports fan UCLA is perfect because our teams are really good and we take pride in our athletics well I'm not an athletic person I do like to cheer on the teams so I think the reasons I chose to go to UCLA are pretty clear in this video. If anyone has any questions about my experience here, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is just my first and last name, at Victoria Sergiato, and I'll see you in the next one.